I'm going to take you inside the cabin for a little look at the progress made so far. Hi everybody, I'm inside the cabin trying to give you a little glimpse of this work in progress here. It's such a small room that it's uh, difficult to get very good video clips, especially with my little flip camcorder, but I'll do my best and give you a, a look at what, uh, what I'm up to right now anyway. If you hear something hissing away in the background, I've got a Coleman Lantern, a gas, propane gas Coleman Lantern going. It's a bit of a cloudy day and I thought a little extra light might make it uh, easier to film in here. I'll just do a little swing around with the camera. I've managed to get the walls all insulated and uh, the vapor barrier up. And of course, you could see from the outside photographs earlier that the windows are in. And I used a door that uh, the window also opens and has a screen on to give extra ventilation here in the in the summertime because it can get kind of warm in here even though it's insulated. Now I've got to move back to give you a better look at this wall. I just started putting the tongue and groove pine boards up. I really like the tongue and groove. It's looking looking the way I want it to look anyway. Sorry I can't get back far enough to give you a, a better perspective but that's the northern wall and I didn't uh, didn't put any windows in that wall, so it was the easiest wall to start with. And my first attempt at putting up tongue and groove naughty pine boards. Um, I don't intend to paint it or stain it or varnish it or anything. Not, not immediately anyway. I suppose over time, if it yellows or starts to look dingy or dirty, I will uh, paint it. Shoot straight up in the air here. That end is where the stove will be going, and it has sort of a small area with a cathedral ceiling it goes up to a peak, and then directly above here is the, well you can see the floor and the joists for the loft. I'll be putting tongue and groove across there too. Well, that's a pile of the tools that I'm using, I guess, but it's also the little wood stove that I bought. I uh, haven't put it together yet. It's sitting on a piece of cardboard flat on the floor. Um, it has legs, of course, and a shelf-like thing that comes out on the front end of it where the door is. But uh, I'm going to have a chimney put in sometime in the next two or three weeks. I've decided not to do that myself. I worry about the leak of carbon monoxide and all that sort of stuff, although I plan to have a carbon monoxide smoke detector in here. But I still would like to have it, the chimney and the stove installed professionally, I think. So that will be done as soon as I get the uh, rest of the boards on the wall. I went with uh, wide pine boards on the floor. It was a shame to paint them. They were really beautiful, but I think unpainted or whatever, they would have shown much more dirt than they're showing now. I put three coats of a, an acrylic floor paint on, which... Hopefully it'll be a year or two before that comes off. Anyway, thank you for watching. I guess this is the best I can do as far as giving you a glimpse inside my little cabin. Inside dimensions are roughly 13 feet long by 8 feet wide, plus the loft, which I guess I've said before I don't intend to use as a sleeping loft. It'll be a, a good storage area, a lot of tools stored up there right now. Plus I hope next summer to do some work with the uh, some solar power and that'll be a good place to put the equipment that goes along with that and the storage batteries. Anyway, thank you for watching this little glimpse of the cabin.